so welcome to your 16th Visual Basic tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to use settings inside of your applications and what settings are is they're basically like variables except they're better they they will store the they'll store the value once even once the program has been shut down even once your computer has been shut down they'll still be there sitting on your hard drive and that's the difference uh, variables are stored in RAM which is cleared uh, once you shut down your computer and it also clears out those variables after you close the program but settings they store it on the hard drive which obviously stay which obviously is permanent it stays there so we can do that in Visual Basic and we can use this for many things we can use it to make a login a login system where you can change your password you can change your names you can change. You can store information. Uh, you can store your name, age, things like that. For this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make a program where you type in your name, age, press the save button, and it saves it to the computer. So, first, what you want to do is just put a label and put two actually, and put two text boxes. resize like that, like, like that, and copy and paste it, put another one underneath it, label 1 is going to be name, and label 2 is going to be age, and then we're going to put two buttons, just copy it and paste it, put it underneath, and resize that, Button one is going to be save, and button two is going to be read. So basically, you press that button, it saves it to the hard drive, it saves your, the settings, and then read. What that will do is it will basically pop up with a message box saying, Your name is Neil and you are 13 years old, or something like that. So there's our form, just change the text of it change this to settings don't really know what to call it and this is text box 1 and this is text box 2 so double click on the save button that's what we're going to do first so what we're going to do here is we're going to do my dot settings dot name equals text box 1 dot text and what this basically means is my dot settings so basically check settings and the name of the setting is name and we're going to set that value equal to text box one's text and the reason we've got an error here is because we've got to declare these settings and you can do that by going up here to project windows application one properties or whatever you named your project settings and in here we've got like a database and if you've done databases like Microsoft Access or something like that this probably looks quite familiar to you so just change the name to name go down and age so you want two col you want two rows name and age and we're gonna leave them both as string and yes I know age is a number but if we were to do integers we probably get quite a few errors with text boxes and numbers because they don't understand each other like it doesn't understand that text boxes can have numbers and text but you can play around with that if you want and try and figure that out but I'm just going to leave it as string because we're not going to be doing any kind of calculations with this or anything like that so that's that's that done we don't we leave the scope as it is and don't put a value in so close this press yes and you see that error has gone now so I've already explained what that is so just copy that and paste that underneath and change this one to age equals text box two dot text so again change the age setting to the text in text box two which is the age text box so now under here all we need to do now is save the settings if we don't put this last line then the settings won't be saved and th they won't appear or anything so all we have to do is my dot settings dot save 
and that will just save them. So if we run this, we won't actually see anything for now. So go back into your form one, and now we need to set something that will happen when we read this. So here, what we're going to do is we're going to just do message box. message can't spell message box dot show and then put the brackets and then inside here we're going to do in um, speech marks your name is and then remember I said about putting the space in a previous tutorial your name is and uh, name sorry and my dot settings dot name and here we're going to put and you are and then put the and sign again my dot settings dot age and sign again years And that's got to have a space there and a space there. And put a full stop at the end here. So that probably looks quite confusing, but it's not. Basically, just put your name is, and then the name that is stored in that setting. And then these brackets, I don't think you actually need these brackets here. So my.settings.name, so your name, and, and you are. So that's just text again, and then uh, my dot settings dot age, and then just years old. So now if we run this, hopefully fingers crossed there will be no errors. Okay, working so far. So we can just if we try and press read, your name is it's just giving you, um, it's not really giving you anything because we haven't got any settings. So I just press OK to that, and name I'm just going to put Neil. And then age 13, press save, and then read your name is Neil and you are 13 years old. So, if, oops, that's just gone down there. So, if I change this to 100 and I press read, it's still saying I'm 13 because we haven't saved that setting. So, I press save and then read, and, then, and you are 100 years old, which I'm not. I'm 13, and save that read. So that all works, and if I change this to John, save, read, your name is John and you are 13 years old. So as you can see, this all worked. But I just saved that as John and 13. And you see, I just closed the application there. So if I run this now, and I press read, your name is John and you are 13 years old. That has still been stored. So I'll show you that again. So I'll put Neil, 13, save, read, your, your name is Neil and you are 13 years old and then I completely closed out that as you can see up here run it again read your name is Neil and you are 13 years old so as you can see the settings are staying and if I were to shut down my computer which I'm not going to and then restart it those settings would still be there so that's how to use settings inside of Visual Basic don't forget to comment rate and subscribe and I'll see you in the next tutorial